okay, last one. I don't even think it would feel good. So now we're dealing with a vertical spring. It has a mass of 575 grams, and it's stretched to 15 centimeters and then released. Um, assume an isolated system. Calculate the mechanical energy of the system if the spring has a period of 1.2 seconds. Okay, well let's make a drawing of what's going on and then write down everything we know. So here's a vertical spring, so it's being hung, and it has a mass attached at the end. So we can say this is simple harmonic motion going on here. Now it's stretched 15 centimeters from its equilibrium. So. so my mass is given me is 575 grams. I need to convert that to kilograms. There's one kilogram in every 10 to the power of three grams. What's the thing to the right of the arrow? Simple harmonic motion. I'm just saying, okay, I've identified that this is simple harmonic motion. Okay, that's bad. Abbreviated. Remember I said that at the beginning of the lesson? Yeah, she even knows how to go. Yeah. I got, got some house. You were grooming. <laughs> so my M is equal to 0 0.575 kilograms. My X is 15 centimeters, which I need to convert to meters. So X is equal to 0 0.150 meters. And then T, it gave me is 1.2 seconds. And I'm looking for EM. So now we'll make a road map of what we need to do here. So we know that EM is equal to EP plus EK. Okay. But when the spring is being compressed and stretched, um, I can set EK equal to zero. for my EM is equal to EP. Well, my EP from my last unit was half KX squared. Well, I don't have K in this question, so I need to find K using T is equal to 2 pi square root of M uh, over K. So see, you can see how these units are all building on each other, right? We're using stuff from a lot. So here's my first calculation. Here will be my second calculation. And here will be my third. It won't really be a calculation, more of a conclusion. So the first one, t is equal to 2 pi of the square root of m over k. So I'm going to rearrange to solve for k. So right now, k is attached in this square root. So what should I do first? Divide 2 pi. Divide 2 pi. So I will... Right now it's multiplied by 2 pi, so I'll divide by 2 pi. So t divided by 2 pi is equal to the square root of m over k. I feel like there might be something wrong. Oh no. Okay, so now to get rid of the square root, I have to square everything on this side and square everything on this side.
So now I have t squared over, well, I can just put it all in brackets, t over 2 pi, all of that squared is equal to m over k. Now my k is on the bottom, I need it to be on the top, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply. So now k is multiplied by t over 2 pi, all of that squared, oops, no wait, multiplied by t squared is equal to m times 2 pi squared. What did you say? That seems better. <laughs> so multiply each side by k, you said, right? Okay. And then what? And then just m divided by t over t pi squared. Yes, good. So k then is equal to m divided by two t over two pi squared. Thank you. Good. So now I can put in my values into that. So K is equal to 0 0.575 kilogram, all divided by 1.2 seconds, that's divided by 2 pi, and all of that is square. So just be careful with um, your calculator, putting things, making sure you're doing enough brackets or doing multiple steps. This should equal 15.7639 Newton meters, because this is our K. So we're dealing with Newton meters when we're doing K. Now is our second calculation. You need to still see that? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so number two calculation is where we go EP is equal to half KX squared. So this is equal to half times by 15.7639 Newton meters times by 0 0.150 meters, and that value is squared. Can you show us how you typed K in, like, to calculate? Sure, you're getting a different value? Yeah. Okay, so what I would do is I would go 1.2 divided by bracket 2 pi, close that bracket, and then I would square that value. So now I have 0 0.036, okay? And then I would go 0.575 divided by second answer. You're not getting that? Maybe check your mode. Okay, well, I'm just going to finish the lesson for the sake of the video and then we'll just put it in the class and start it. So EP equals 0 0.1773 joules. <coughs> and then my third kind of calculation or assumption was that EP is equal to EM. 
So I can say then that my EM at sig digs is 0 0.18 joules. 